<laughs> Welcome to Mobile Masterpiece Theatre. For nearly 30 years, we've been proud to provide the energy that helps public television run. For an actor, King Lear is one of the most difficult roles in all of Shakespeare. For one thing, it's terribly demanding physically. Yet it's a role for an old man, ideally a very old man, a man on the verge of senility. By the time an actor is old enough to play Lear persuasively, his physical powers have inevitably declined. Tonight you'll see Ian Holm in the role. He was 66 when he first played this Lear in 1997 at London's Royal National Theatre. And he played it with astonishing energy, even managing to shock some in the audience by playing one scene in the nude. Faithful to Shakespeare's direction, that Lear tear off his clothes during a violent storm. What you'll see tonight is a television adaptation of that production. Shakespeare's tragedies are always about great men with human weaknesses that destroy them and almost everybody around them. Spotting the fatal flaws of this willful old king I leave to you. But for those unfamiliar with King Lear, I should probably tell you that it contains parallel stories of two aging parents, Lear and his old friend, the Duke of Gloucester. Lear has three daughters. Their names, Regan, Goneril, and Cordelia. Gloucester has two sons. And the similarity of their names, Edgar and Edmund, can be confusing if you're seeing King Lear for the first time. The dangerous one is Edmund. You'll see him at the very beginning forging a document to ruin his brother. Whatever Shakespeare's reasons for leaving them out, no mothers are present. The action begins with the king announcing that he's decided to give up his power and divide the kingdom equally among his three daughters. First, however, each will have to tell him how much she loves him. King Lear. <laughs> 